evening Rebels, how are we doing? I am freezing and I refuse to light my fire. It's too early in autumn to need to light my fire and that would also require me um, chopping wood. So mm -hmm. I am not lighting my fire yet. So I'm just here all rugged up. You have to excuse the uh, winter woolies. <laughs> but I had, I was driving today and I had um, an idea for a lip sense mix that I wanted to try out and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. I really hope it works out. I haven't tried it beforehand. So we're going to try it out together. As you jump on, say hey. Hi Annie. Hi Barbie. Thanks for tuning in. And if you are watching the replay, make sure you throw like a hard eyes emoji so that I know that you're here and I can jump back and say hey. If you are watching back on the replay and you have any questions, then you type the questions. I will answer them when I see them pop up. Otherwise, if you're watching the live, then we can 100% answer your questions as we go. All right. I um had a, uh, I'm wearing tracksuit pants. I've been wearing tracks pants all day. I was pretty sure my delivery today wasn't going to arrive. I thought I'd have to wait till Monday. So I was having like a tracksuit pants day. And then um, my delivery did arrive. So I had to send like apology messages to my customers like, girl, you're seeing me in my tracksuit pants today. Today is a tracksuit pants day. <laughs> so I have very minimal makeup on. I have tinted moisturizer that I put on this morning, eyebrows that I put on this morning, and some mascara that I put on this morning. I've just taken my lip scents off that I was wearing today, but I do still have the remnants from, I did kind of two back-to-back -back demos yesterday, so I still have the remnants. I've showered, but if you've used lip scents, you know that... Um, it doesn't go any very very easily so even though i showered and washed my hands multiple times um i'll have to get that one off with remover tonight <laughs> okay but let's talk about mixology so there's numerous ways that you can hang on a sec <coughs> sorry there are numerous ways that you can mix up lip scents you can either mix it in a little um dish like this these are actually the tattoo um ink rings that you can get on eBay but my personal preference and I don't have one here I can't believe I don't have one in front of me my personal preference is actually on the back of a glossy business card that's always a really great spot because the gloss helps you to um keep the lip scents um wet for longer it doesn't absorb in like it would if you just did it on paper or you can just do what I tend to do which is kind of like the lazy way of mixing and that is to put it on in layers. So tonight we are making a moody purple. I dreamt up the, well I didn't dream it up, I was driving so I was awake. Hey Laura, how you doing? <laughs> it's so cold, isn't it Annie? <laughs> um, so I, I thought up this mix uh, in the car whilst I was driving today. I must have been just like thinking of lip sense colours, as you do. And it was to take our new metallic plum which is from the Glitz and Glam collection. Let's pull that one out so we can see what we're working with. So the Glitz and Glam collection is a limited edition collection. All of the colours are too. So if you love it, let me know. I have a few and I've just ordered some more because it's going very quickly. But this is Metallic Plum. Let me find a spare spot on my arm. It's already a really lovely moody purple, but... I want to see what happens if I do a base layer of my friend Midnight Muse. And because I'm putting it on super late, I'm probably just going to wear this to bed as well. Ain't nothing like a moody purple nighttime bed lip. <laughs> so Midnight Muse is our really delicious navy colour. So you can just imagine that that navy colour is going to add like a hint of even more depth and moodiness. I That's what I'm thinking in my head anyway. And then um, I might need some help to work out what gloss we're going to wear on top. Where are, oh, the glosses are over there. It's okay if we decide we want to put a gloss on. They're just over there. <laughs> okay, so let's start out. For those that might be new to Lip Sense, you give it a really good shake because it's a pigment suspended in a cosmetic grade alcohol voodoo mix that helps to keep your um, lip color on all day. And I'm going to be applying my um, two different colours because Lip Sense is applied in three layers. You can apply different colours on each of those layers to create your own custom combo. Today we're just going to go with two different colours, but I could add in a third. Maybe I will add in a third. Should I add in a third? Because I've just had an idea for another colour I could pop in there. I'm going to get Purple Rain out. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just going off camera for a second. 
getting my other big lip sense box big box of lip sense colors let's get purple rain out okay we're gonna do it let's do three layers why not why not right okay so i'm thinking we go with Be purple right oh this is gonna be fun okay so i'm thinking we go midnight muse at the bottom purple rain in the middle layer and then top it off with the metallic plum for that beautiful metallic finish let's do it let's do it all right let's get started with the midnight muse first now i did just glue my lips down before we started because i had lip sense on so i took it off and just cleaning it down again just because you should always have nice, clean, dry lips when you apply lip scents so that you get your longest way. Alrighty. Everyone got their lip scents, lips held. Ready? <laughs> I always think I look like one of those clowns this, that, that you put the ball in the mouth at the um, fair, like that. But, um, you know, it's all, it's all for a good cause, right? <laughs> okay, let's go in with Midnight Muse first. Okay, that is our Midnight Muse layer. So you can imagine if I did three layers of that, it would be very deep, very moody, very bold. I do love, I do love our blues. I love that we have them as an option to mix with stuff as well to make all sorts of custom colors. Okay, let's lighten it up again a little bit with Purple Rain, which is like a magenta -y purple. Really bright and, and stunning. <coughs> I should have brought a water in with me. Sorry for the coughing, my friends. Purple Rain and Goddess are a beautiful mix. Gotta get a little bit more on the top lip. There we go. Now I don't know if this is showing up on camera super well, but it's definitely I've gone outside the lines. But it's definitely starting to take a more purple tone. Let that dry, and then we'll go in after that's dry. Because I really touched up that top lip. I've got to wait for it to dry properly. Do, do, do. You might take this opportunity to use the oops remover. So the oops remover is the remover that comes when you buy a starter kit. We use the oops remover to clean up that edge there. Oh, I did a really smart thing and took the uh, tip out so that I don't use the tip. I always forget. Because if you if you don't use the, the tip that comes with the applicator, it stays clean for longer. <laughs> That's my hot tip for you today. All right, let's, I've just got a test of wand here. Let's tidy up that edge. See the oops remover helps to lift the color back up again. I always like to wipe it down with a cloth though when I'm done so that, that there's no oops remover left on my lips to lift any more color. Okay. Hey, Ace Man. All right, final layer. And this is already like a really fun, moody purple, but I think this metallic finish on the end is going to be divine. Yes. Oh my goodness. 
Laura, are you still watching? Because, girl, it's, this, is, this is a nice purple. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. What do you think? Would you wear a lip this dramatic? Can I get some purple hearts if you love it? Some like purple heart emoticons or something? Because, oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's even better in the, I was looking in the camera. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I'm looking in the mirror now and I'm just like, oh my God. Okay, so for those that might have tuned in part way through, whilst I wait for it to dry, we'll put some gloss on then. I did Midnight Muse, this blue color here as the base layer. Middle layer was purple rain, and then top layer was metallic plum. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, yes! When I was a teenager, I was a little bit of a goth, I'm not gonna lie. And then I was a hippie, and then I went through a lot of different personality kind of costume styles, but my little teenage goth heart is losing it over this purple oh my goodness yes 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 all right and as always completely kiss proof how can you get this color and be completely kiss proof this is so cute all right should we put some glosses over the top to see what happens when we put extra glosses on I have so Wheat Pea Gloss here. I'm wanting to see what Sweet Pea Gloss does to this. And then I think I need to put like Clover Gloss over it or Prism Gloss. What do you guys think? So Sweet Pea's this one here. And I picked that one out because it's a lovely like mauve tone. And then another option is our Clover Gloss, which is a really lovely like opalescent or even just plain opal gloss actually. But Clover Gloss has like a green opalescence to it. See that beautiful opal milky tone. What else? Oh, Prism. Let's get Prism out. Play with that. Prism's our multicolored glitter. Can you see that glitter? Mm -mm. And then, just so that I can show you all of our different options that I'm thinking of anyway, then there's our, our standard opal gloss. So there's Clover Opal Gloss. And then there's our standard opal gloss, which has more of a blue-pink tone to it. See that there? Everyone's saying, yeah, clover. All right, how about we do half a lip in clover gloss? We'll go half, do half. What should I do on the other half? Look in the mirror, Jess, not the camera. Oh, this purple. Oh, and with the clover, well chosen, ladies. That clover gloss. Divine. Look at that. Yeah, well, let's do the other opal gloss. So we've got clover, which is like an opal tone. But it's more of like, a, as you can see, a green-based opal tone. I'm just going to rub those glosses in because glosses stay sticky sometimes. And I don't want it to get stuck on me. So that's the clover on on this side. Then let's go with opal, the traditional opal on the other side. I love that. That's a great idea, Annie. Oh, this is a really great way to see how they're same, same, but different. Because they both have that milky opalescence to them, but this one has like a pinky blue shot through it versus the clover which has the green shot through it because clover came out as part of our um uh st patrick's day collection which is still available by the way if you need one i think i've still got one left so we've got clover on this side and opal on this side i love them both do you guys have a favorite green hearts for clover pink hearts for opal i reckon it does bring out the purple doesn't it what do we think? Oh my, oh, I'm just so in love with it. I'm so glad I like dreamt up this mix. Do 
do we need to do a full eye look that matches or are we just going to leave it as a short video because I've got everything here and I can totally play more oh my god I'm so in love with this Marley girlfriend look at what I did oh we've got two different lip glosses on at the moment <laughs> hi Marley have you had a play yet with your new colors but what I'm wearing on my lips we started with a layer of Midnight Muse, so like a navy colour. And then we topped it with a layer of Purple Rain, which is that like pinky purple. I think your sister's got that one, Molly. And then we topped it with Metallic Plum for the top layer. And now we have just put Clover Gloss on one side and Opal Gloss on the other. <laughs> I love it, Annie. I love, love, love. Okay, I'm going to rub these glosses together and see what happens. Now it just kind of looks uh, like a crazy mix of both and I don't hate it. I'm going to do that next time. I'm actually going to take my opal gloss and my clover gloss and just mix them together on my finger and just rub them in that way because now it's like a disco of opalescence. What do we think? I've just kissed off some of that high gloss so that we can see the color again better. Oh my goodness. That purple is amazing. All right. Will we do some eyeshadow? Do we want eyeshadow or will we wrap up? It is getting late. Are you guys happy to hang out longer? Because I'm happy to play. <laughs> Are they some hearts to say stick around, Annie? Because I can. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Obviously, we're going to have to use deep plum shadow scents, right? All right. So we'll use deep plum shadow scents. And... Let's go with some turquoise shadow scents as well. So we're going with two moody colours. And then we're going to need to lighten it off with something. Why don't we use the platinum glitter, which is also part of the glitz and glam. Oh, why am I using turquoise? We should totally use lapis glitter, which is also from the... Uh, from the Glitz and Glam collection. Okay, so we are using, oh, Mulberry. Yes, okay, we can play with some Mulberry too. I like that. We might use Mulberry as the base for everything to blend into. So Deep Plum, Lapis Glitter, and Platinum Glitter. Let's do it. But like uh, Annie suggested, we might go with some Mulberry as a base. So I'm just going to take some of my Mulberry and a soft, fluffy brush, if I can find one. I did just wash all my brushes the other day, so I have a fair few to pick from today, which I'm excited about. It had been a while. I was getting down to like the, the bottom of the barrel of clean brushes. So I'm, and I'm not being too particular right now with my mulberry because it's just going to be the base that everything blends into, but I am essentially following my crease. So where my eye socket is essentially, and then just using kind of a back and forth soft motion. See, I hold my brushes towards the end of the brush, by the way. That's a really great way to get a lot of motion in your brush without being too um, stiff. Like if you hold your brush right down here and you're dragging, you're going to um, be pushing too hard. You don't need to push that hard on that skin area. So there's a tip for you today. So we're just kind of windscreen wipering that mulberry in. And for those that haven't seen the mulberry before, hopefully you can see it on that wand. It's a beautiful, just soft, dusty pink. Really lovely blush colour. Actually, let's use it as blush. Really lovely blush colour. And beautiful and soft, so very wearable for, like, every day. So I've got that mulberry on the cheek and as the base layer on my lids as well. Hey Anna, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in, girlfriend. We have just made this amazing lip color. What do you think? And then we decided we needed to do eyes to match it because I didn't have anything on my eyes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take that same brush that still has a little bit of mulberry on it. And I'm going to start adding a little bit of deep plum to the outer corner. I love our deep plum because it is a really deep, dark color, but it blends really softly so you can add just a small amount 
like so for a hint of purple tone or you can really build it up for more colour, more pop of colour. But I'm building my colours slowly because this is a new look that I'm creating. I haven't really thought about what I'm, well, I haven't played with it before so I'm not really sure how it's going to go. So I'm going to build those colours slowly rather than um, kind of go in with a whole bunch of colour and then have to clean it up if that makes sense. But see how that like tiny hint of deep plum has just added a little bit more definition around the eye area. So rather than that kind of windscreen wiper motion that we used with the mulberry, doing more of a soft patting motion because that keeps it more localized to the outer corner, which is what I want of this color. Do you guys wear purple eyeshadow? I never used to, but I, um, actually I never used to wear much makeup at all. <laughs> and if I did, I stuck with neutral tones. Surprising, I know. <laughs> but A, I didn't know what I was doing. And B, um, I, I didn't know what worked. And I was a bit scared to start. Does anyone else feel like that? <laughs> and then I became a distributor with Senegence. And I got my hands on all of these different colours and went, oh. It's just makeup. I can just wash it off. <laughs> now that I've got them all, I better learn how to use them. <laughs> and this is where we've ended up. <laughs> so I'm just adding it slowly but surely to the outer corners. Just building it up slowly because, like I said, this is going to allow me to be more, have more control over the amount of pigment I'm, I'm playing with because I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Yes, you feel this way, Annie. Honestly, it's just playing and learning what works for your eyes. But like I said to you the other day when we were messaging, I'm working on organizing. Um, and this is, this is pertinent for anybody who's watching who distributor or just a customer. Um, I'm working on organizing a local makeup training half day so once I find a venue that I love and a time slot I will let everyone know now I'm taking that same brush picking up some more deep plum because you guys know I like to tie top and bottom together so I'm just running a little bit of that deep plum under the outer corner of my eye as well and the reason I do this the squishing of the brush and it's actually just laziness I want to um not have to wash as many brushes so this just gives me like a flat brush that's already got that color on it if that makes sense <laughs> I need to remember to wear deep plum as my eyeliner more often that's lovely all right so I'm I'm happy with that as my kind of base I want to add a little bit of this um lapis glitter in now we might go with still a fluffy brush, but I'll show you the difference between the two. So this one, see how this one's quite like it flares out. So it's fluffy and dense, but still got a lot of movement to it. Whereas this one isn't as tall. There's, the bristles aren't as tall, so it's quite, it's stiffer, which is going to mean that the color stays put in a more localized area, if that makes sense, which is what I want with this beautiful lapis glitter. And again, I'm going in lightly with this because I want to build it slow. I also kind, I do want it to end up with a, more of a purple than a blue tint. So I want to make sure that I'm, I keep working it into that deep plum color rather than kind of just packing it on top. And the super fun thing is I'm going to keep adding pigment, but at like this level, this is just like a hint of color that you could wear during the day. It, like it, it doesn't have to be super like blown out crazy drama. It, it is day suitable if you only use a tiny hint of the pigment. And I'm doing such soft, like little soft taps at this point to add the color in here. And I'm not holding the brush all the way down here like we discussed earlier because I actually want a little bit more control. I'm being very gentle with the tapping that color in so that it stays 
just localized to where I want it. Can you girls see that okay? Slowly building up that, that blue tone, which is adding in some lovely blue smokiness to that purple. And because it's blending into the purple, it's like a blue purple rather than blue on top of purple, if that makes sense. Oh, I'm so glad we decided to play with these colors. This is lovely. <laughs> now I am going to find a flat brush because even though I showed you the trick with the squeezing this brush like so, that's not going to work with this brush because like we discussed, it's got denser bristles. So it's not going to be as, um, as flat as I need it to be for this color under my eyes so bear with me whilst I just find a brush that's the right shape there we go so I'm just going to use a flat brush for this one like so and I'm just picking up a little bit again if you've watched me applying all of these shadows I'm just picking the color up off the neck of the wand because I don't you don't need much these lips the shadow scents sorry lip scents last a long time too but shadow sense tubes last forever because you have such pigment, such heavy, heavy pigment in the um, tubes that you just don't need much. And then on top of it being heavy pigment, there's just a lot in this tube. <laughs> now I'm patting it into the lash line. So keeping it a bit, um, a bit deeper and patting it into the lash line area. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Unless I'm looking down to the mirror and haven't checked to see if you see what I'm up to you can see that metallic oh well, I hope you can see that metallic sheen starting to come through on the um, lapis glitter actually I should do a swatch of it on my hand somewhere if I've got space so that you can see it's easier to see on camera when when it's a flat surface that you're swatching on but you can see that beautiful metallic finish of that uh, lapis glitter Just patting it in because I don't want it to, um, I don't want to take that metallic tone away. Oh golly, this, this shadow, oh my goodness. Actually, this whole limited edition collection that Senegent's produced, the Glitz and Glam collection, they just knocked it out of the park. I love pretty much everything they do, but this collection in particular has just been a slam dunk. Now I'm going back in again with the um, the brush that we used with the deep plum just to soften the edges of that lapis glitter. I want to make sure that it's blended, that we're softly, softly blended. I was originally, we were just jumping on to do a quick lip sense uh, mixology. Hey Julie, oh my God, do you want to know what's on my lips? Ah! So, <laughs> And sorry for everyone who's been watching from the beginning. I just have to tell everyone as they jump on. So, Julie, we we did a mix tonight of Midnight Muse, that navy colour in the middle there, then Purple Rain, and then topped it with the Metallic Plum. And then we added Clover Gloss and Opal Gloss and mixed them together. Isn't it great? <laughs> so in love with it. Okay, I want to add some more of that deep plum actually. Oh, and I should swatch that for you as well. Deep plum. It's that beautiful deep plum. Very aptly named. <laughs> so I want to add a little bit more of that plum to make sure I'm sticking with the purple tones that are in the lip. Mind you, that lapis glitter is so pretty. So I'm just adding a little bit more deep plum. And see how we took it from being that really subtle look that we started with to a much more dramatic sort of evening appropriate look. <laughs> and now I'm getting a clean brush because I want to soften the edge of that. And I know this brush still has too much pigment on it to be able to soften the edge. 
So I'm using a clean brush to just run along the edge of this shadow because it's going to tone it down slightly. We'll do the same to the other side. Uh, and if you have deep plum and lapis glitter, my recommendation is you go and mix the two together right this very second because this is making such a pretty, moody, slightly metallic purple. But I hope it's showing up on camera as how just delicious it is. It's so delicious. <laughs> All right, where's that clean brush gone? There it is. And this is just softening the edges so that there's no harsh lines. The Morphe brush. Oh, yeah, I will shoot you a message with the referral link. because It is, yes, yes. Changing my life one brush at a time. For those that uh, don't know, um, I don't think I've got, I've only got, I've, got, I've still got the packet here, though. <laughs> I, I have a... Uh, I am I'm part of a subscribe I'm, I'm a subscriber oh my god words I'm a subscriber to a brush subscription service so I get sent new Morphe brushes every um, month and if you want the referral link I'm pretty sure you get a free brush so make sure you let me know if you want the referral link and I will message you when we finish Julie if you don't hear from me like 10 minutes after the video video finishes shoot me a message because my brain fell out my ear and I forgot not saying that's something that happens regularly, but I am saying that's something that happens regularly. <laughs> okay, let's glitz this up. So we're going in with the Platinum Glitter now, which is the other shadow that's in look at that, that beautiful shine, the beautiful shine that is um, the other shadow sense that is in the uh, Glitz and Glam collection. Now I'm picking that up with this quite a fluffy flat brush. And that's a really handy one when you're playing with glitters. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I've got way too much, but um, I'll just put some over on this side. I feel kind of sad that I'm not going anywhere with this look tonight. I'm going to look very fabulous tucking myself into bed, that's for sure. <laughs> but flat brushes are really great when you're working with glitter because they help to pat the colour into place without lifting too much of it off. Can you see that shine? I really hope it's showing up as nicely on camera as it's looking in person. That's always half the fun. It's just, I hope that it's showing up on camera what it looks like in person. And I've added too much. So I want to show you how to clean up a mistake. So I feel like I've added too much silver here um, and it's hidden. See how the purple comes across the top here? whereas it kind of stops here on this side. So I'm just going to take my brush that has purple still on it. And that is the beauty of these cream um, products that are, again, with the heavy pigment. They're super blendable. So it means that I can clean up mistakes if I make a mistake. Just add it a little bit more in and then take my clean brush again and sweep across the top to tidy up any straggly bits <laughs> and just pattern in that silver so that it's really well placed oh it's so pretty platinum glitter get on it look at that so delicious and then i'm just taking my brush that has the blue on and hitting back in again at that corner to add a bit more blue. Do you guys want to see another trick whilst I've got you? I may as well. <laughs> Meet my friend Washi Tape. And I feel like I've told you guys this um, before, but I might not have told it to you for a while. This one is really handy for if you struggle to do winged liner. So you take your washi tape, and washi tape is simply it's like a repositionable um, paper craft tape. And I like to do this oh, off camera. I like to do this a few times first to make sure it's not too sticky uh, and doesn't like peel my skin off when I put it on. And you can buy it at like Spotlight and places like that in the paper craft section. And I go from the outer corner of my eye 
to the tip of my eyebrow like so pat that down and I do both sides before I get started just to make sure that they're even and from here you have a crisp line with which to follow to do eyeliner to do a winged liner just making sure that tape isn't too sticky get my hair out of the road hair doesn't want to get out of the road put my hair there corner of the eye to the tip of the eyebrow like so make sure they're even and you look really funny while you have it on but it is super handy and then I'm going to use I don't think I've got any pencil brushes here I'll have to use a angled brush like so I would prefer to use a pencil brush but I think they're all in the other room so I'm not going to go chasing I'm going to pick up we're going to use the lapis glitter uh, lapis glitter shadow sense yes I'm going to pick this one up I'm going to do our wing and I like to start especially when I'm doing it this way and I'm going to move my mirror because the other tip is if you look straight down into your mirror it's going to give you a flatter surface and if you have slightly hooded eyes, lift your eyebrows at the same time. And this is going to give you a crisp wing. And it doesn't matter if you hit the edge of your tape because your tape is going to stop it from getting all over your skin. It's amazing. So lifting the eyebrows. Isn't this idea, isn't this trick handy? And don't try and do your wing in one fell swoop. It doesn't have to be one continuous line. That's the same with any eyeliner in general. Yes, Laura is, um, I think I learned it from you uh, first, didn't I, Miss Laura? Laura is the queen of wings. She can do them. I swear she could do them with her eyes shut. <laughs> so if you are just tuning in, because I'm seeing some new names pop up there, um, I will run you through what I've done. But right now we are doing a trick that I learned from Miss Laura to do a winged liner. And I just kind of want to make sure that they're fairly even. I feel like this one needs a little bit more of a tail. And I can just add it like so because I don't need to worry about it getting on um, my face. Because the tape's there. And then we're going to let it dry because it's shadow sense. It takes a little second to dry. And I want to let it dry before I um, pull the tape off. Um, so that it has its best chance of start here so that I don't pull my hair out. Ta-da! Oh my god, Laura, you are a makeup wizard. And I think this side I'll start up here again as well so that I don't tear my hair out. Probably should have um, done that one on the back of my hand a few more times because that was a bit stickier. <laughs> what do we think? It's such a nice way to do a wing. Laura, you are a rock star. Washi tape, you can get it in the paper craft section at Spotlight. You can get it if um your like if you have a good like cheapy store, you can usually get it there. It's um made from rice paper, so it's kind of it's more flexible than masking tape. It's a little bit gentler and it's repositionable. It's actually really awesome for sticking stuff to the wall too, because it doesn't peel off your paint. That's my hot tip for you today. <laughs> okay, what do we think? That was just, oh, and I'm really loving this Lapis Glitter as eyeliner. If you haven't used it, then definitely do give that a shot. And then I'm not going to put mascara on because I'm literally going to bed. So then you you really shouldn't live in, um, shouldn't sleep in your makeup. But I feel like I'm going to, just saying, I might, maybe a little bit. No wizard, just years of experience with wings. I've learned heaps of shadow techniques from you. Yeah, and that's the thing. And we were just talking about that earlier um, where people felt were saying they agreed that they felt scared to try new things. Um, and I literally didn't wear makeup when I started with Senegence. I just didn't. I hated it. 
<laughs> I hated putting it on because I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, two and a half years later, I make videos putting makeup on because I've learned things along the way from amazing people and it's just been practice, practice, practice. My lip colour mix. Yes, I will tell you again because it is lip colour for the gods. Actually, it looks like it might be more lip colour for people that maybe don't live... They live anyway, <laughs> but I think it's a lip colour for the gods. Okay, it is just here on my arm. I started with a layer of Midnight Muse and I think that's what gave it its beautiful moodiness and then added um, Purple Rain. And by the way, that was a lovely mix by itself. So Midnight Muse and then maybe two layers of Purple Rain would make a beautiful matte, deep, but rich purple. But then because I needed it, I've topped it with Metallic Plum to make that uh, for that beautiful metallic frosty finish. And then we played around with, I'm going to redo the glosses because mm -hmm. you, know, you guys need to see these glosses on. Uh, so we put Clover Gloss on one side and we'll do that again. Overgloss on one side. And then the regular opal gloss on the other. And we love them both. We couldn't decide which one we loved more. Look at that. So if you're a fan of purple, you need pretty much everything I just put on because it's amazing. And then on my eyes, we ended up playing around with, oh, and I've got them on my hand too, Deep Plum Shadow Scents, the Lapis Glitter Shadow Scents, and then Platinum Glitter Shadow Scents. And that was some fun mixology for y'all. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for playing makeup with me, guys. Um, I am going to go tuck myself into bed because, like I said at the beginning of the video, it is freezing and I refuse to light my fire. It's too early in the season. And I haven't cut up any wood yet because I've been lazy. <laughs> so I'm going to go tuck myself into bed and maybe watch a movie. Maybe even have a Milo. It's Milo weather, right? It's Milo time. <laughs> okay have a wonderful night everyone thank you for tuning in bye